Welcome everybody to Nitro, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we find out who, who, we were told it was Austin, but was it Stone Cold Steve Austin said he does know who it is, he says, he said it wasn't him, so who is it? Well, we'll find out who later on tonight, but kicking things off, last week we... We got to see what this big Batista could do, and well, Bubba came to the rescue of his partner Devon. And well, this week, Bubba wants his hands on Batista. And well, the Dudley boys, of course, are now the first team to have held the three promotions tag team championships. And Bubba, he wants Batista, the next big thing, as he's been quoted by Triple H. Triple H has handpicked this man. Big Batista. Doesn't exactly look young there, but... <laughs> Well, Batista. This man. He is a big, big guy. Well, tonight, people, Chavo Guerrero has requested his rematch for the European Championship, not wasting any time. He wants Eddie in the ring tonight. And Eddie Guerrero is going to give it to him after making short work of him last night at No Way Out. The new women's champion, Bill Nakano, will be in action. Brett the Hitman Hart will be in action for what feels like the first time in a long time. As here we go. Jeez! <laughs> what a punch! Oh my god! And Batista just straight up lamped him. As, oh, shoves him off there, right into the corner. And Big Batista is all over Bubba right now. God! Not even done a move. Just punched the hell out of him as oh, Bubba scoops under though. No, Batista though caught that leg. And oh god, struck him down there. Just drops the elbow. Drops another elbow. I know Batista is just laying in. He is an angry man. That has got to be said. As you know, Bubba, Bubba goes for the eyes and puts him down. And Bubba goes straight for a cover. But man, not even a one. And oh, look at Bubba try to take him down. Batista not letting that one happen. God, man, just STO with him. As Batista scoops under here. Man, look at Batista. Did you see the speed he went out there? And, oh, God. As Batista goes for the brutal neck wrench. Oh, the brutal neck wrench. Everyone's favourite move. Well, the pro WCW crowd here on Nitro. They are behind the next big thing. Oh, man. Man, this Batista is an animal. And, oh, God, oh, God. Batista. Boom! That was a thunderous strike there. Hooks the leg. And, oh, wait, Batista. 
And oh, well, he rolled off of that one. That was a three count on its way there, and Batista is quite happy to keep this one going. As he is beaten on Bubba. He defeated Devon last week. As up on the shoulders with ease here as he rolls through on him. And oh, it's Batista going up that middle rope there. Bubba though. And Bubba needed that. So look at Bubba trying to get back into it here. He's got a chance. So. He comes around the back. Oh, what a slam out that was. And this Batista man, he is having his way right now. Oh, Bubba picked his moment. As Bubba scoops under Uranagi. And he needed that. My God, he, my Batista is getting right up to his feet. And oh God, and Bubba might be fired up here. Maybe not. This Batista is just stalking him. So Bubba again. And oh man. This Batista, he is an animal. So he is. Jeez. Flexing to the referee here. What exactly is he looking for? As oh, he's stalking him out again here. And I think he's going to look for a second Batista bomb. As he hooks the leg of Bubba Dudley. And well, I think we all knew what way this one was going. Well, two episodes in a row and Batista has put down both halves of the WCW Tag Team Champions. Hey, land man, it was done there. But he rolled off that pin and he kept it going. Spinebuster followed by a second of these Batista bombs. And this man, he is an animal. I know I keep saying it and oh well, here comes Devon, here comes Devon now. And oh, Devon! And Devon Dudley. And oh, as both men colliding here. And oh! And look at these two. And oh, on a takedown by Devon. It's Devon right now. And Devon. As well, he rolled out the way there. Oh, watch out. Oh, God. That spine buster is Batista now with Devon. God. And well, man, just like that, Batista laid Devon out. My God. I said it three times, I'll say it a fourth. He is an animal. Well, here comes Kai and Tai as Funaki. Going to be in one-on-one -on -one action here as Funaki is uh, going to try and do it again. Uh, this match has been made. Funaki and Booker T are going to go one-on-one -on -one after all the upsets. Of course, uh, last week. Last week on Nitro, we saw Booker T. Well, he managed to get himself... Back to winning ways, but he had some help from... Well, why are you coming out with wrestling gear on, Stevie? Oh, wait, I've not got it set properly. <laughs> My mistake. 
Well, here we go. Booker T and Funaki. And Stevie Ray. There we go. He's dressed up now. <laughs> and Stevie Ray has requested to be at ringside with Booker T. Booker T said, fine. And it was Stevie Ray that helped Booker T get the win last week. Virgil was uh, <laughs> on to him. But Booker T, thanks to his, his brother, brother came in and landed one hell of a 110th street slam as oh that's what that pretty much is right there as Booker T into the cover here on Funaki and holy cow there you go Booker T well eh uh, and Booker T just squashed Funaki that's more like it I know you are going to be pissed <laughs> in the comments. I know the ones that are in the live chat are going to be so angry right now. <laughs> These are going to hate me because I'm laughing. <laughs> you just think I hate Funaki. Well, Booker T, just like that, took Funaki down. And his brother's at ringside. He's like, there you go. That's more like it. And there you have it. Booker T gets the win. Well, we're going to have some tag team action here as Bam Bam Bigelow is going to get his hands on the big show. The Jersey City Triads, Bam Bam Bigelow and Canyon going to take on the team of the big show in Rhino. As Bam Bam Bigelow, who was out for a couple of weeks after big show, slammed him on the hood of a car. But um, they almost became tag team champions last night. But didn't get it done. Diamond Dallas Page, who we are going to hear from very shortly, was meant to be in that match, but he told Bam Bam to take his place because he had something else on his mind. And, well, that something else was The Rock. And, oh, wait a minute. And Big Show... What the hell is the Big Show playing at here? And well, here comes Rhino. And what are these guys doing? As they're surrounding the ring, Big Show's got a chair. This is supposed to be a... And Rhino, and Rhino just gold him out of nowhere. Rhino with a gore. His Rhino comes up behind Canyon now. And oh! And the match hasn't even begun here. It's Big Show with Canyon. And well, Big Show got Bam Bam and Canyon to turn around, and good God, Rhino came in and took out Bam Bam Bigelow with a gore. And then Big Show got Canyon. And he gave him the showstopper choke slam. And I don't think we're going to be getting this match tonight, people. It looks like Big Show and Rhino were more than happy to just lay these two out. And Big Show and Rhino is Bam Bam, man. <laughs> Rhino went through him with a goa. And these two are standing tall right now. And this match is this match is not going ahead. The referee is not having this match go ahead. Well, we just lost two Jersey triads. Got another, another one out here. My god, why does the light go so crazy from <laughs> this ring? Oh man. Well, alright, I guess you all want the explanation. Why did I drop the rock? You know what, Rock? I've always found myself someone who fights for the people. I fought for WCW. I went against the NWO. I am the people's champion. I am a champion of the people. You, Rock, you go away to Hollywood, come back and think you're just going to crawl back in. You made it clear you were coming in and you were going to 
You are going to stand with the World Wrestling Federation against WCW. Well, no, I don't think so. I decided to step up. The moment I heard you were going to be at No Way Out, I knew, I knew you wouldn't see it coming. So I dropped you with the diamond cutter. And I'm going to do it again, Rock. I hereby challenge the so-called people's champion, the great one. I want to go one-on-one -on -one with the great one at WrestleMania. Ball's in your court, Rock. What do you want to do? Do you have what it takes to get in the ring with a real people's champion? Or are you just going to hide behind the McMahons like the rest of the WWF? I look forward to hearing your answer. Well, The Rock will be on Monday Night Raw later on tonight. And I'm sure he's going to have something to say about this. But Diamond Dallas Page has thrown out the challenge. He wants The Rock at WrestleMania to see who is the people's champion. The following contest. <laughs> well... We have some women's action here as Trish Stratus is going to go one on one with the new women's champion. And well, you could say China can feel hard done by last night, but the referee doesn't see it. Bill Nakano couldn't keep China down, so. <laughs> She crushed her head right into a steel chair. As Bill Nakano, the new women's champion, no time wasted. And Bill Nakano. Well, her and China went at it. She could not keep China down. And when she couldn't keep her down, she smacked the referee. And as the referee was down, not once but twice, she dropped a DDT right onto the steel chair in order to keep China down. And wait a minute, well, China... China, sorry, Bull. Bull Nakano has just handed... She's just told the referee... She's putting the women's championship on the line. What? Bull Nakano, well Trish Stratus doesn't care, she's more than happy with this. She'll have a shot at the women's title, she's a multiple time women's champion. And Bull Nakano has straight up told the referee, this is on the line. She is going to defend the women's championship right here, right now. And well, Bull Nakano, I'm guessing, wants to prove how dominant she can be. And that's exactly what she's going to do here as she hands the championship to the referee and the World Wrestling Federation Women's Championship is going to be on the line right here, right now. Bill Nakano not backing down, eh? As well, here we go with these ladies. As in... Oh, man. And, oh, Trish, though. Trish, hold on to the leg. And, well, Trish. Might not have necessarily prepared. But, oh, good God. Might not have prepared for a, a women's championship match. But she's got it. And, oh, Trish. Eats the steps. Oh God, you hear that thump there? And, oh man! Five. 
And the guardrail count of six here. She would retain the championship. On a count out as Trish has taken a few hits there. And Bull Nakano is all over Trish Stratus right now. And oh god. She drops the leg on her. I just, just realised Bill Nakano doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> and oh! As Bill Nakano. And man, she is all over her right now. Look at oh god, and a pale driver! And Bill Nakano. Grabbing a handful of hair there. As Trish breaking out of it. And oh man. And oh ho, ho, she turned into that one. As Bull leaning in with the right hands here. And Trish Stratus. And oh, Bill Nakano has her up. God! And I think Bill Nakano. Oh, and here, this has got a little bit of distance on it here. Bill Nakano's going to need to go far to land this one. Oh, and she got her. The leg drop. And Bill Nakano retains. Trish Stratus is no easy woman to put down. But she done it. And Bill Nakano putting the Women's Championship on the line to prove a point. Oh, I hope I remember to edit that out. If not, it never happened. Well, from one title match to another. Well, last night, Eddie Guerrero reclaimed the European Championship and Chavo Guerrero invoking his rematch clause tonight. And Chavo Guerrero. Well, Chavo told Christian, Christian was going to come out here with him, but he told him no. I'm going to do this myself. Chavo Guerrero wants to beat Uncle Eddie. Uncle Eddie, not only did he beat Chavo pretty quickly and with ease last night, but after the match, he threw him into the steel steps and told him to start showing the family some respect. As Eddie Guerrero, I think getting more pissed off at the fact that It's just the fact that it's his nephew is blaming him for everything. But Eddie Guerrero reclaimed the European Championship. And well. Well, Eddie Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero, going to collide again here tonight. No time wasted. was of course back at the Royal Rumble where Chavo defeated Eddie for the European Championship and then last night at No Way Out Eddie Guerrero took it back and he did do it rather quickly Chavo was actually looking pretty dominant in the match until Eddie just out of nowhere caught him with the three amigos the frog splash and it was done well two WWF titles defended here tonight on Nitro Bill Nakano retained the Women's Championship, but can Chavo bring the European Championship back over to WCW? 
Well, when it comes to singles matches, they are one apiece. And Eddie Guerrero, 24 hours. Could be a short title reign if he loses here. I think Chavo, he just cares more about beating Eddie than really getting the championship. As here we go, and oh, Chavo scoops him. Scoop slam there and a shot right in the back. As Chavo gets caught by Eddie. Swing and a miss. And we'll look at Chavo go. Chavo went for a heel kick, didn't quite connect it properly. Ah, uh, no, Eddie. Got a handful of hand. As he goes up, we're going to take Chavo across the ring. Chavo back with a chop. And all oh, taking Eddie up high. No, oh, Eddie hits him off. <laughs> they know each other well, don't they? Grew up together, more like brothers than uncle and nephew. Tornado DDT there. And oh, and a drop kick in the corner. Nope. And Eddie here going up again by the looks of it. And Eddie. Oh, <laughs> another shot in the arm. It's going to be hard to lift him up for that gory bomb if he can't. Can't get the strength in the arm. As Eddie scoops him up in the shoulder, going for everyone's second favourite right on the top rope. Chavo into the midsection. And on him again, another DDT straight into the cover. Only a one count though. And oh, Chavo mocking Eddie. As Eddie. And Eddie catching him there. And oh, wait a minute, and here we go, Eddie now. That's one. That's two. And here comes your three amigos. Not even going for the frog splash here, right into the cover. And he beat him, didn't even do a frog splash. I think Eddie has most definitely gotten the better of Chavo. He has most definitely gotten the better of him here. And Eddie Guerrero. And oh wait, Chavo's back up on his feet here. And Chavo going after Eddie. And Eddie saw him coming. As Eddie takes him over the top rope. And Chavo Guerrero. Yeah, I think your uncle, Uncle Eddie, has most definitely gotten the better of you, Chavo. Well, we're on track to have a short episode tonight. <laughs> Although I didn't expect the Booker T squash. Then obviously we had a run-in with <laughs> the Batista and Bull matches are obviously played. So we've actually had quite a short one here as Brutus the Barber Beefcake going to be in action. He could have been television champion right now so easily. I mean, you had it in the bag, Brutus. You had it. It was right there. But you didn't do it, you tit.
He had the chance. But he's going to have his hands full tonight. As Brett the Hitman Hart and Kurt Angle are on a collision course over that United States Championship. And well, Kurt Angle told Brett, I want to see you show up by yourself when we face. Made the challenge to face an uncensored in a couple of weeks. Well, Beefcake. This would be a hell of a victory for you, Bret Hart, a former world champion in his own right, the current United States champion, and probably one of the best technical wrestlers to ever grace the ring. Be a hell of a win for Brutus. As Bret Hart just goes after him. And well, Bret, I couldn't tell you the last time we saw Bret Hart in a singles match. He's kind of had the foundation doing all the work. The US title has not been defended in a while either. Kurt Angle's been going after it, but... No joy. There's Bret Hart. Dropping on the leg. Brutus though. Well, both men like to rock the pink. And oh, Brett just picked his moment there. There's Brett into the cover. Bret Hart, he's all over him right now. No, no, Brutus able to slap the drop kick away there and he takes down Bret. Oh, what a huge win this would be. Brutus well, over the top rope, down to the floor. This would probably be the biggest one of Brutus. <laughs> Brutus's career if he pulled this off. The title's not on the line, but usually if you beat a champion, you can get yourself in the running for a title shot. Of course, Kurt Angle is the number one contender. And oh God. And we're away in the crowd here. Count of five. And no, oh, back over they go. Oh, Brutus getting back in the ring. They both are. And they're back in after going over the rail and into the crowd there. Ah, is Brett going to play a little game of count along? No, he's not. As Brett catches him, sends him into the corner. And Brett going to take him down with the Bulldog. And up onto Brett's rope. As he comes off with the elbow. And Brett Hart now centre of the ring. Going to unleash those dungeon moves. Got him wrapped up here. Beefy knee! And Brutus landed a knee out of nowhere and no! Oh, the two! I don't know why I keep calling it the beefy knee, it just sounds weird and oh my god, can you imagine? 
Can you? I'm at Bret Hart. When's the last time he wrestled? And maybe the ring rust is catching on. It's not Bret. The jawbreaker there getting out of that sleeper hold as quick as possible. This would be a huge win for Brutus. And I mean huge. So wait a minute. And Bray, I think, has had enough of this one. He might be a bit too close to the ropes here, though. Brutus could get a rope break if he just reaches out, and he does! As Bray... Well, he only locked it in for a set. He's waiting, mate. Bray Hart jumps into a cover here, but he's got his feet on the ropes here. The feet are on the ropes! Oh, he just pushed them off! And Bret Hart right back onto him here. And I think there might be Bret Hart, man. He has barely wrestled in pretty much the last two months. I mean, how many matches has he really had in season three so far? And Bret takes him down, another bulldog. If he'd locked that sharpshooter in, he might have had it, but uh, so you could say the same for that sleeper hold when it went in. Don't underestimate Brutus. He's a, back in the day, he was a big guy, big arms. We lock in a sleeper. Believe me, I used to work in security myself <laughs> in pubs and nightclubs. You get, you got a big enough arm, you stick it around a guy's neck, he's going down. A bit like that with the pile driver. He didn't go for a cover off that pile driver though, and he might have made a mistake, because look at Brutus hitting back here. Landed a pile driver and he picked him back up and Brutus with the brutal Brutus neck range. And oh he's he's doing something. There's Brett, another jawbreaker there, and a close light. Well, Brett being a bit too cocky here. As well, he's stalking him again here. If this gets in, it will be the possible ending here. I think this could be it. Middle of the ring. The sharpshooter's locked in. And I don't see him getting out of this one here. Nope, that is it. And Brutus taps out. I'll give him an A for effort though, he put up the fight. But Bret Hart locks in the sharpshooter. And Bret Hart victorious. Well, I'm not going to lie, after watching that, I think Bret Hart needs to get a couple of matches under his belt before he gets in the ring with Kurt Angle. If that had been Kurt Angle tonight, I don't think Brett would have won. He showed some ring rust. You need to get yourself back to the best shape if you're going to face a gold medalist. Well, here we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The APA said it was him. They said it was him who hired them to attack Goldberg and Scott Steiner. Back it sold out. Austin said uh, it wasn't him. But if it wasn't him, who the hell was it then? And why did Farouk say it was him if it wasn't? Austin told Goldberg last night you'll get your answers. Well, he's the WCW champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, all right, all right. So, 
I'm not going to waste any time out here tonight. You know, I was sitting with the APA that night when they got attacked. And I said to them, oh, looking at these two guys in the ring right now, wouldn't it be great to just see them get their asses kicked? Now I had one beer, two beer, three beer, four beer, five beer, six beer. And when push comes to shove, maybe I kind of did tell the APA to beat the holy hell out of Goldberg and Scott Steiner. Now, you could say I paid them, but I didn't really. I gave them a beer and they decided to go out and beat you up. I mean, it wasn't necessarily my fault. It wasn't necessarily the APA's fault. We'd just been drinking and we thought, what the hell? It'll be good for a laugh. And are you kidding me on? Stone Cold Steve Austin was getting drunk with the APA and pretty much Austin just dared the APA to go down to the ring and beat up Goldberg and Scott Steiner. And well, Goldberg doesn't look too happy about hearing about this. Oh my god, look what's in the ring right now. It's Goldberg. It's Austin. We saw them collide for all of about five seconds during the Royal Rumble match. Are you kidding me, Steve? Really? Really? Drunk? It was just drunk and a dare. All this time, all this crap to get answers. And that's my answer. Stupidity. Well, Bill, I can see that's not exactly what you were hoping to hear. Were you hoping for some kind of fancy big betrayal? I'm sorry to disappoint. Yeah, that's all it was. I was drunk. I dared the APA and they done it. And I paid them with one beer each. You know what, Steve? This is when usually I would just spear you and then jackhammer your ass in this ring and get my revenge that way. But you know what? I look at you, the face, Stone Cold Steve Austin of WWF, and you're looking at the face of. No, oh, no, no, no. I know, I know, Bill. I'm the big bald hard ass of the World Wrestling Federation. You're the big bald hard ass of WCW. We were the faces of our companies. Is that what you're getting at, Bill? Who's the toughest bald bassett badass with a goatee? Is that what you're getting at, Bill? <clears throat> yeah, Steve. That's exactly what I'm getting at. Well, Bill. Since you put it that way. I've got to say. Steve Austin. Bill Goldberg. Who's the better man? Who's the toughest SOB? in professional wrestling today. Well, I think that's an answer we need to get, Steve, don't you? Hell, there's a pay-per-view coming up. Maybe Bill Goldberg and Stone Cold Steve Austin collide. Uh, I like the sound of that, Bill. I've got to say, I do. You know what, Bill? Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bill Goldberg, toughest son of a bitches walking this planet. I think me and you 
can deal something. But you see, I've got a bone to pick with your little bitch of a boss, Triple H. See, I'm going to whoop his ass. And then, Bill, once I'm done, maybe I'll whoop yours too. And Austin and Goldberg here getting ready. Clyde for it. As these two looking at each other here. As in, oh, wait a minute. Austin! Austin Stone Cold Stunner to Bill Goldberg. Goldberg just got stunned. You know, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, Triple H. Triple H with his sledgehammer. The sledgehammer. And Triple H going after Austin. And where the hell did that come from? And Triple H. Who can't get in the ring because always the same. It's Triple H back in the ring again. With that sledgehammer in hand and another shot to Austin. And another shot to Austin. And my God here. Is Austin getting up to his feet again here is Goldberg. And Goldberg's trying to get up to his feet here is Don oh, Austin. Down again. As Goldberg comes up behind him and... Oh! Oh! And, and oh, Triple H. Triple H realises he just hit Goldberg. He realises he just hit Goldberg. Is No, wait a minute. And Austin's back at his feet. Stone Cold Stunner to Triple H. And Triple H just laid out Goldberg with a sledgehammer shot. He came up behind him. He never saw him coming. He accidentally stunned him, or stunned him, he hit him with a sledgehammer shot. Here is your winner, and Austin, who just took a sledgehammer to the gut himself, was able to get back on his feet and lay out Triple H with a stunner. And oh man, and Goldberg, who's on the outside of the ring here, and he's looking at Triple H's body. And Stone Cold Steve Austin, well, he's smiling because he knows what just happened. Triple H, Goldberg came up behind him. He turned around and hit him with a sledgehammer, not realising who it was. He didn't even put two and two together. Triple H just stuck a sledgehammer right in the gut of Bill Goldberg. Austin was able to get back in his feet and drop a Stone Cold Stunner on Triple H. And oh my god, what the hell does this mean? Well, we now know that Austin kind of did put the APA down to the ring, but it wasn't really the circumstances that we thought it was. It wasn't some big mystery reveal. It was nothing more than Austin and the APA being absolutely hammered. Austin dared them. He dared them to run out. Not the big twist we were expecting. But either way, it has put Goldberg and Austin on a collision course. We know that Austin and Triple H are on a collision course. What the hell does this mean? And Goldberg is pissed at Triple H. What is going to happen next, people? Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next episode.